You talked about him wanting to put his power before other considerations. I actually might have thought we'd say his infallibility before uh, other considerations. When he came out and said at that press conference that the reason that the stock market had gone down was because of the Democratic debate, <laughs> I really thought to myself, you know, my capacity to be astonished, I thought, had been exhausted. <laughs> Turns out, no. Right? I mean, he, he does not want to be responsible. It feels to me, as an observer from the outside and as a citizen and as a human, it feels to me that he doesn't want to be responsible for anything bad. Well, some people have said he put Vice President Pence in charge of this in case whatever, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but in case it goes right. south, he can say it was And Pence. he has Nikki Haley swinging the bat with the donut in the on-deck circle, right, in that case. <laughs> But there's the other feature, which is really the president is, I mean, there's one element of genius in this presidency, and it's the marketing. And this, he do, he's trying to market it. He wants to be sure that everybody realizes vaccines on the way. You know, the press briefing the other day was, was made unpublic, if you will. No video, no audio. It was pen and paper as the which, which parlance of the industry. Right? Which yeah. conflicted that the information that came out in this briefing, in case you don't know, was essentially that a lot of people are dying, nine now, um, and that there are a lot more uh, cases of coronavirus in the United States that have been identified and confirmed. And the pre this conflicted with the president's narrative of a couple of days before, which is it's really not that bad. It's all fine. The media is hyping it. Yeah. Trust me, we're not hyping it.